A release of the soft tissue surrounding the joint is performed using routine surgical techniques. A 1.6 mm guide wire is drilled into the center of the first metatarsal head. A cannulated conical reamer is used to prepare the metatarsal head. The guide wire is then removed and positioned in the base of the phalanx. Cannulated cup-shaped reamers are used to prepare the base of the phalanx. Ream up until the reamer matches the sizing of the metatarsal head. The cup and cone reamers allow for precise reduction and a ball and socket fit of the metatarsal joint. A guide wire can be used as temporary fixation. A locking wire guide is screwed into the template and can act as a joystick to help position the plate on the toe over the first MTP joint. Once positioned, a 1.2 mm guide wire is placed through the hole and into the metatarsal. Once positioned, the template is removed and the CP reamer is placed over the guide wire and advanced until the appropriate depth limit is achieved. After reaming is complete, the guide wire is removed and the plate is positioned using temporary fixation. Beginning at the most proximal hole, locking drill guides are screwed into the plate to allow for precise screw placement. The proximal holes are reamed and a depth gauge is used to determine screw length. Proximal screws are positioned and locked into the plate. Once fixated proximally, the cross joint drill guide is positioned and reamed using the anchorage specific reamers provided in the system. Note, proper placement of the guide is necessary to ensure correct alignment of the plate, plate side towards plate. Once reamed, the drill guide is removed and the corresponding hole is measured using provided depth gauge. The recommended over-drilling technique is achieved by advancing a 3.0 mm drill bit through the cross-joint hole to the joint line. After screw length is verified, a non-locking 3.0 screw is placed in the hole and advanced across the joint and tightened against the plate. This buttressed lag effect compresses the joint as the screw is tightened. Once the cross joint screw is positioned, remaining holes are drilled and screws are positioned. Verify with x-ray.